pull it? Pull it while it's running. See how much comes out of there. Yeah, it's oh yeah. Pretty good. But you're That looks perfect. Number six. Oh, number six. It's not burning. You don't have to swear, do you? <laughs> oh, them valves. There's been. Wow. There's like a wall right here where it's cut out. Yeah. Just carbon up. That's where the injector fits, right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. hmm. Blow by. Remember that? No, there was no blow by in this engine, was there? Maybe, yes. Are we taking off now? Ooh, I was wrong before. No, we were right. Mm -hmm. I don't know, is there any oil on them walls there? Not like that one. That one looks nice. It's not supposed to be really. No, I know. Those the wipers and the piston rings and the I'm not a complete engine mechanic, you know that. 
Yeah, that one don't look so good either. Unless that come from up top, sure it did. That one looks terrible. She's just tired, man. He's just tired, Troy. She's just tired. That's just in. Is it fuel or oil? It's oil. Feels oily. <laughs> Feels oily, or is it fuel oily? Mm -hmm. I know what that is. That's oil. Yeah, it didn't hammer or nothing, so do a redneck overhaul again, huh? Something. Maybe we should just put one piston in. Ha! Ah. Deer and Company. Yeah, Moline. Actually, was this one made in the UNS of an A? Yeah. Moline or nice. Yeah, I think this color was always the. Superior Diesel did them for the for the guys for deer for the longest time for Fabtex for the OEMs I think Superior. Anyways, yeah. Well, we do that. You're gonna take the pan off here and then knock out number six. True. See what happens. That's what I would do. A little refresher. Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, you know. Put the head on the Perkins. We only use to hang it over the front end or the back end. Yeah, that'd probably work. You want to drill the holes? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll go back to what I was doing. Do you guys see what I see? I see a Fabtech without a motor. A motor. It's all motor time. That's right, he really kicks a lot of butt. He just, he goes to town. He started this morning and he's got her out. Well, you saw what I saw before, but he's got number six and the ones we thought were the worst. We actually put, uh, we took the rack off, let the valve shut, and we put air, compressed air in the injector hole, and all of them <laughs> blow by. What blow by? Somebody said the other day on one of my. Anyways, so yeah, here we got it. This one is pretty much. I just got done washing up, so I'm gonna be a careful kind of guy. Part of the oil ring is missing, oil seal. Those rings are, the, the bottom ring is almost pretty much collapsed. Top ring is still in condition of, but you can see where it was getting by here compared to the three and four, four and three. And, uh, them aren't in much better shapes. You can see right here. You got some erosion in the piston right there in the skirt. Not in the skirt, but in between the two rings. This one's got a groove hole right in it. I take that back. There's supposed to be a groove there. I'm sorry. It's just full of chowder. Anyhow. Yeah, and this is a first for me, and I know you guys, you engine guys will say, oh, that's common. Cool. They break them things in half. They must machine them and then snap them, the rod caps. I'm sure that's what they do. Anyway, so I think the plan for this engine is going to be uh, sleeves, rods, mains, 
gaskets, have the head done, injectors, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what the customer wants to, how much money the customer wants to spend on her. That one's still sitting there waiting for us to do something too. But now I'll have twice to, twice to, eh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is just show you, I'm going to put this video up for you. And, and then, because uh, it's getting kind of long already, and then I'll do another one maybe when we get her put back together. So, all right, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.